Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley in the back parking lot of Fox 4 and along this tree line behind me lives two iguanas that we see from time to time. But with this weekend's cold snap, we might not see them in the trees. We might see them frozen on the ground. But what are you supposed to do if you do see a frozen iguana? I asked Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to find out. When temperatures fall in the 30s and 40s in southwest Florida, you won't see snow falling, but instead iguanas. These non-native reptiles are cold-blooded, and with cold temperatures, they become cold-stunned and temporarily lose muscle control. If homeowners find a stunned iguana, FWC says don't bring them inside your home or car. Why? Well, FWC says they have sharp teeth and claws, and when they recover, they can use them to act defensively and pose a safety risk. Also, being an invasive species is illegal to have one without a permit. So what do you do? FWC says if you find a stunned iguana, you should humanely kill it or contact a professional pest control or wildlife trapper. Iguanas can cause damage to sidewalks, foundations, and seawalls because they dig burrows, which is why FWC says you should kill them. They define a humane manner as an immediate loss of consciousness and destruction of the brain. In Cape Coral, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.